Hey everybody, Dr. Tom Carr here of drstocks.com, D-R-S-T-O-X-X.com, drstockstrading.com, D-R-S-T-O-X-X-trading.com, ichthusletter.com, and we have the number one best performing letter on marketfy.com, the Dr. Stocks options letter. Hey, another great day to be a Dr. Stocks subscriber. Uh, to be trading the Dr. Sox trading systems because as you can see we're up fourteen hundred and thirty two dollars today let me uh, highlight that with my little pen feature here which I just finally figured out how to use fourteen hundred and thirty three big ones now that's on a uh, investment value of hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred eighty four dollars we have invested this is in my short-term trading account my swing trading account or trend trading account and as i've said to you before when this gets up to two hundred thousand dollars i cap it there i take a good chunk out and i put that money into our long-term portfolio which is tax exempt or you know tax deferred i should say and uh, that's the legacy portfolio that we'll, we will use for retirement for handing on to our children for doing some philanthropy work uh, and that's how that's how we do it. We we um, we make our income through um, uh, our advisory services, our publications, our book royalties. We put that into the trading account. We multiply that income by trading, and then we invest the multiplication in long term investment positions. And those long term investment positions are the same positions that my Ichthus Letter subscribers have. Uh, and anyway, it, it all works out very, very nicely for us, especially on a day like today. Now, I wasn't able to record a video yesterday. We were down about uh, six hundred dollars, five to six hundred dollars yesterday. Not a real bad day, considering Monday we were up over two thousand dollars. So we made that back up and then some today. Now let's look at what was running nicely today for us. Now I had on some extra trades here. Some of these are from my newsletters. Some were just extra trades that I put on. Actually, all of them are from my newsletters. From a PRWR is my momentum letter, HEAR is my trend trade letter, UWT is a, a crude oil ETF that I have in my ETF trend letter, LXFR was one of my swing trades in the trend trade letter, and none of them did very well today. Now, a couple of these positions I put on UWT I had on earlier in the week, and I took profits on that on Monday, and I got back in today, but it went down from my entry price of around 30 30. LXFR has been in our hot stocks letter for a while. Now it's in our trend trade letter. Um, it's It's been basing down after a pullback, and I got in today right around $18 per share, and it just tri trickled off a little bit from there. Not to worry. Now, the overall market was down a little bit. The Dow Jones Industrials lost 36 points, not a biggie. The S&P 500, the QQQs, and the Russell 2000 were all up. Uh, the latter two significantly up. So it was a generally a mixed day for the markets, but for most part, the kinds of stocks that we invest in were all up today, which is nice, very nice. We did have an, a nice day. Now, uh, uh, GoPro was one of my big excitement uh, stocks for today. Did rather well, 5.74%. We're in at a price of 618, and here it is trading at 663. Uh, that was bought Monday morning at the open. So that's been a nice trade for us. We had a nice little move in ECR. We had a, that's a 5.4% move. We had a 4% move in SCVL. And we had another 4% move in SCHN, the steel company. And we had a couple of 3%ers in some of our hot stocks letter picks. Now our penny stocks letter picks uh, were about flat on the day, but they've been down. As you can see, all this red stuff here means that they're they're not doing very well this uh, week or since I entered them. A couple of these we've had on for several weeks. I'm trading very, very small size in these penny stocks because I just don't have the stomach for big drawdowns, and that's, that's what happens with these. Now, my penny stocks letter over the past 15 years has averaged 180, sorry, 162% per year average return, but it can be up 30% one year and up 500% the next year. It's a wild, wild ride. And if you are trading with me on those, I suggest that you do what I do, and that's go very, very small. This is a small account for me. I'm going even, <laughs> I'm going really, really small in each of these positions. They're more just kind of fun positions to have on. 
and then I have on a number of my um, uh, a number of my uh, ichthus letter picks, which I can't scroll down to because I'm in pen mode. Let's see if I can get out of pen mode. There we go. And uh, you can see that uh, they did they had a nice day today for the most part, except for the GLOB, which has been up, 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 up. Today it decided to sell off. I'm not sure why. Had a bit of a pullback as well in FND, the the uh, retail um, Home Depot competitor. But it's also had a nice run. And uh, how's Tesla doing? Tesla did had a nice day today, up 10 points, almost 3% after a couple of days of pullback. So all that's good stuff. Now let's look at some charts because we had an, an amazing day in terms of the letters that I, I publish for our subscribers. Uh, my subscribers did far better than I did today because I'm not in, a, in all the pics that I uh, send them. And that's just because I can only put my money in so many positions. Um, I hold up to 42 positions open. I think 42 is the number. And, and most of those, most of the money goes into systems trading. And so I'm not in the sort of short term swing trading that you get in my stock pick letters. I'm in some of them, but not all of them. But anyway, this is one that I'm not in, but the subscribers had a real lot of fun with, and that is LABU, which is the three times bullish ETF for biotech stocks. Now this is our third trade in LABU in the last few weeks. We got in down here on this, um, let me get back to pen mode. We got in here on this spinning top candle and we rode that, uh, we put a, a stop loss below this pivot low here. We trailed it up. We did not get stopped out on this little pullback and the little double bottom pattern. And it went up and up and up and up. And then we got out on this big red candle here. And then we got back in on, um, I believe it was this bullish engulfing candle right there on the test of the support line. Rode that up. Now I got my subscribers out early after this big uh, bearish candle right here on high volume. I said to my subscribers, go ahead and sell it at the open. We did the next day which was a little bit premature, but nevertheless, we got out, we avoided this big spike down. And then I got everybody back in on this day right here after it broke the intraday high of this bullish engulfing candle. We had a couple of days of sideways movement as the market was pulling back. Now note, the market was pulling back, LABU was receiving money. Look at all this bullish volume down here, that's good stuff. And today we had the payoff, the big payoff. Now we're not even close to our target price on this yet. I didn't expect it to move so far so fast, but hey, we'll take it. Buy the box because the box is bullish. That's one of my mantras. When you see a, a good uptrend stock that pulls into a sideways consolidation, mark that consolidation, start nibbling when it's down near the lows of the consolidation in anticipation of the breakout move. Easy peasy. Now let's uh, take a look at CRK. This is one we have in our hot stocks letter. We've been in this for quite some time. Now it triggered our buy signal after it posted a really strong earnings, raised its earnings estimates, got an upgrade from some analysts, and we got in on the Monday here, back around, uh, around $9 a share. We've been holding it for several weeks through all this bullish consolidation. Again, sideways movement after a strong price uptrend is good stuff. <clears throat> and we've had uh, three days now of nice upward swing even as the market has been rather choppy and uh, it, volume is starting to increase, so all of that is good. CSIQ is one we have in our hot stocks letter as well. It is not a typical hot stock because it's been in this sharp sell-off, but what happened was it, it has a nice long-term trend and this sharp sell-off brought it into the valuation ratio level that triggers some of our hot stocks uh, buy signals and then uh, it got an upgrade, which also triggered our buy signal. So we've been in it this week, and it's just been up and up ever since. We got in around 11.50 something on Monday's open, and here we are at 12.30, two days later. CTG is another one we have in our hot stocks letter, and it is just a superb stock. One of these un undiscovered gems has tremendous um, potential 
it's I uh, forget even what they do but <laughs> it uh, has been boxing in a sideways base here up against three three month highs the two month highs and uh, with some really strong bullish volume going on down here and that's all good stuff so we're expecting this to break out very soon um, all good now what moved for our subscribers? I'm in all of those picks except for L LABU, but look at this one. I'm not in this one, but this one did really well. SRI, we have this in our trend trade letter. Big bullish box breakout today on huge volume. We also were in Ford in our cheap stocks letter. I didn't have position myself, my subscribers, after holding through all of this sideways mess. I mean, we really held this for several weeks, even a couple of months. Finally got big bust up today, which we were expecting, and we got out at 240, which was our price target. And good thing we did, because it pulled back to 220 at the close. That was a 55% gain, I believe, for a several week hold. Not bad at all for our cheap stocks letter, which you get free if you subscribe to our trend trade letter. Ruby, also in our cheap stocks letter, had a nice big breakout today. I'm not sure what was going on. I don't think there was any news. Uh, look at that bullish volume spike so this is just getting started again buy the box because the box is bullish SUPN is one we just put on in our trend trade letter we got in on this bullish engulfing candle and that was yesterday and it took off very nicely today well, no I'm sorry we got in on this bullish engulfing candle last week and it took off very nicely today we bought the lows of the box after the uptrend now this is an IBD top 50 stock. It's got superb growth numbers. Um, you know, it's it's one of those growth stocks, pharmaceutical companies especially, which is a little lacking on the on the earning side of things. But this just looks great. And all right, well that's about it, folks, for today. God bless everybody. We will see you very soon. Bye now.